One of the overlooked aspects of the Savior's ministry is his celebration of holidays. As a Jew himself, the Savior would have celebrated with his brothers and sisters Jewish holidays like the one described in John chapter 7. Here we read, And the Jews' Feast of Tabernacles was at hand. This Feast of Tabernacles, also known as Sukkot, was a time to commemorate the wandering in the wilderness of the children of Israel by erecting buildings like this, a sukkah. In this, the Jews would celebrate by eating their meals and conversing with one another and celebrating the fact that God had guided their ancestors through the wilderness. In later times, just before the days of Jesus, another element was introduced where living water from local rivers would be gathered and used as a reminder of the necessity of water in their lives. The Savior uses this holiday and this imagery to testify of his Messiahship, as we read in John 7, 37 and 38. In the last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. And he that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. The imagery of living water and in invitations to come unto Christ is an aspect of this holiday that I thoroughly enjoy as it helps me to be able to reflect on my own celebration of holy days or holidays. Do I use it as an opportunity to think of the Holy One, our Savior, Jesus Christ?